Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for September 30th, 2018. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys the updates. I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on me for the past week concerning video games, what video games that I play and completed, and I will give a review of it in this video. There's a couple movies I've seen this past week. I'll give you guys my review and thoughts on that. And I'm actually gonna do a haul video. I, I bought some DVDs recently. I wanna show them off to you guys, okay? Um, I'll answer like a frequently asked question and we'll just go from there, all right? Um, video games I completed this past week, I did finish, I don't know if you guys can even see this, Brothers in Arms for the Nintendo DS. I don't have an actual box, I just bought it for like a couple bucks at a pawn shop. And um, you know what, I really enjoyed this game. It's a World War II shooter, third person, there is like the tank combat and stuff like that too. I was amazed with how, how uh, it looked on the Nintendo DS, man. I mean, it's not like super amazing, you know, PS4 graphics, but it's uh, it, it's good enough for me. It, it functions, you know. You use your uh, stylus to turn your character, and you use the uh, your uh, directional pad just to move your character. Okay, so the stylus was like your your right stick, you know, when you're playing like a first uh, a, a, a shooter game. All right. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was like a dozen missions or so. Each mission takes you like 15 to 20 minutes to beat, depending on what difficulty. And um, it was good. You know, you try to, you know, capture the, the, kill the Nazis and stuff like that, you know. Uh, there was a couple missions where you're inside the tank and you're trying to explode the, the train and stuff like that. I, uh, I enjoyed it, okay. Uh, don't expect amazing graphics. Or um, you know, complex gameplay or anything like that, but it was it was a fun game. It it, it, it passed the time. Okay, I, I I play like one mission every single night before I go to bed, and uh, no, I played this game for like uh, probably like the past month or so, and I I finally beat it. Right. So the other video game I, pa I played this past week was only on the P uh, on my um, it's I, I downloaded it digitally on the PS4. Okay, it's the free game. You know, every single month there's like a, a couple free games on PS. Uh, plus, and if you're like an Xbox Live subscriber, you also have free games on that system. Well, for PS4, the free game for this month was Destiny 2. So I beat Destiny 2, the uh, the main Red War campaign. And if you want to see gameplay of it, there's 10 hours of it on my YouTube channel. As of, at, at the time of this, I'm making this video, I don't think that video even made like a, 100 views. Not even 90, 80, even 70 views. So if you guys want to watch all 10 hours of it, go ahead. It's there, you know. Um, I personally really enjoyed it. I played the entire campaign by myself, by the way. You're supposed to play Destiny with, like, your friends. You know, you go, you go online, you round up your, your fire fire team, and then you, you do the missions together. But I played by myself. I probably, like, triple the amount of time for each mission, you know. When, when you're playing with buddies online, you know, you can go through these missions faster. And, uh, but I had no one to revive me, so I was, like, staying in cover the entire time. I was going really carefully, you know. So, that 10 hours could have been probably less, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, basically, uh, my advice, if you're playing this game by yourself, just go over the recommended, uh, uh, recommendation. Like, you're, you're supposed to have a power level for each mission. Um, just go over it for a little bit, so you have, like, a, 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 a little more damage than what the enemies are, are throwing at you, okay? And then you'll and then you'll beat the, the the campaign of it. So I beat the Red War campaign. I know they released like a Forsaken DLC recently. I'm not gonna play that. But I played like the main campaign. I had enough of it. Okay. First, same thing with the first Destiny. I didn't play Taken King and all that stuff because uh, I, I played the main campaign. Uh, Destiny is not a game. It's not. Uh, I just want to say I finished it. All right. But uh, Destiny Two. Some new cutscenes, new locations. You know. Some new weapons and powers here and there, but for the most part, it feels like Destiny 2 feels like Destiny 1. It's like a reskinned version of it. That, that, that's all I have to say. I, I give it like a 7 out of 10. Like, it did give me an, an, a, a lot of time for a free game for PS Plus. I got my uh, my money's worth out of it. My, I, I, it. It took me a lot of time to finish it, okay? And a fun little live stream. Got time to interact with the, the subscribers and fans and stuff like that, too. Okay, movies I completed this past week. I did watch... Well, we rented it, right? I saw Solo, A Star Wars Story. And I, I actually really enjoyed it. They had some good good scenes here and there. There were some parts that I feel like, if they just re, you know, 
rewrote the scene or whatever that people would, would think this is a, a good movie but there's like specific scenes here and there he said this one line and, or whatever and it was like well that, that's kind of ruined everything in, in a way you know but but uh, I really enjoyed it I like how Chewbacca and uh, Han Solo met I like their little heist uh, it's a it's basically a big, a big heist heist movie okay really enjoyed it the special effects I love seeing the Millennium Falcon learning how Lando and Han met and stuff like that um, you know, it was good, like a little background story. I thought the guy who played Han Solo, who was the same guy who was in the Be Beautiful Creatures movie. I don't know if you guys even seen Beautiful Creatures. Um, uh, I like him, man. I like him. He, he's a, uh, he's a, he, he fits very well with the part. All right. So Solo Star Wars story. We'll see if the the DVD or the Blu-ray is going to be on sale on Black Friday, and I'll buy it then. I, I do have my, like everything else is there. My, my whole Star Wars collection. I'm just missing that one movie. Okay. I finished, this is the series I'm watching right now in terms of like um, anime. I'm, I'm watching Wanderers, uh, El Hazard. I, I don't know if you remember, I had an El Hazard uh, DVD before. I actually sold it at the garage sale. <laughs> now I want it back actually. Um, so this uh, high school student uh, inadvertently made a portal to this world, El Hazard, and uh, met the princess there, and his teacher got teleported with him, and a uh, and a friend and stuff like that. I'm still, I finished watching the first uh, disc here, which has the first seven episodes, okay? Um, I'll finish the rest of the series. Like, I, I have the rest of the DVDs. I actually bought, like, there was like a sequel, like uh, like a season two. Uh, I actually bought that online. As a matter of, oh my gosh. I, I can't believe how expensive anime is, man. Um, I'll tell you this right now. I'm not buying Assassin's Creed Odyssey this week. I was planning to. Um, but I'm not going to do it just because I spent pretty much the budget I have for that game on this anime series that costs like double what that was <laughs> a $60 game, you know, like, uh, but uh, I bought like the entire complete series of this anime and it broke the bank for me. All right. But I really want to watch the series. Now, I don't just say that I want to watch a series that I got into it. So uh, El Hazard, uh, I got this and and uh, the rest of the franchise with it also. Also this past week I saw, starring Sylvester Stallone, Escape Plan 1 and 2. The first one, I like more, has Sylvester Stallone and um, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. My friend Jesse uh, told me to, to watch this movie and uh, I finally did. And I loved it, man. I love this movie. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. Um, there's like twists and turns and betrayal and all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Great story. Um, well thought out script. You know. Uh, very fun. Escape Plan 2. Um, it was okay. It was a direct-to-DVD movie. Um, Sylvester Stallone wasn't really the main character of the movie. He had a, like a protege. Um, he, he was in the movie. He was like in it for a, a pretty decent chunk of it. But I didn't like it as much as the first one, but uh, it was all right. It was all right, okay? And I heard they're making an Escape Plan 3 also. But uh, thank you, Jesse, for recommending these movies. I'm looking forward to the next one. And if you haven't seen it, at least watch the first one. The one that actually went, came out the theaters, okay? Starring uh, Schwarzenegger and Stallone. Batista is actually in the second one. Briefly. Oh yeah, I should have uh, talked about this first. This is another anime I, uh, I, I completed this past week. I finished this one first, actually, before uh, watching Wanderers, uh, El Hazard. It's called Z-Mind. Z-Mind is a story about aliens attacking the Earth, and then a group of teenagers with attitude have to, uh, to band up, and they, uh, they suit up, right, in colorful uh, outfits, and again, these huge robots to fight the aliens. Does that sound familiar to you guys? Nope. Original idea, right? But I really enjoyed it. Okay, I really enjoyed it. So they got into these giant robots. They fight aliens and stuff like that. I like this, this type of plot, okay? This is a very short series, by the way. Six episodes. Only six episodes. But it was fun, okay? It was fun. Z-Mind. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys the new DVDs I bought recently, okay? This, uh, it's, a lot of these I got for a pretty good deal. I couldn't believe this first one, man. Pacific Rim Uprising. This movie just came out on DVD and Blu-ray probably like a couple months ago, right? Two, three months ago at most. And uh, I got it for a dollar. 
one buck. Saw it at a pawn shop. I went to this um, uh, Money Mart pawn shop. I go there all the time. It's really close to my house. And um, all other DVDs there are one dollar. And they, they didn't realize that this movie just like is a, a new release, you know. And uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. One buck can't beat that. Okay, it's the actual disc. I bought these and all these other ones all together. Okay. The Spy Next Door. The Blockbuster Exclusive. <laughs> no. But uh, another movie to add to the Jackie Chan collection. When I made my Jackie Chan collection video, I didn't have this in there. So maybe next year or something like that, I'll buy some more uh, Jackie Chan movies. And, um, and we'll, uh, we'll, you know, we'll talk about this too. All right. I'm pretty sure by then I'll actually uh, have seen a seen a movie. Once again, another anime series. I'm like obsessed with anime again. Uh, Venus versus Virus. This is volume two. But for a dollar, why not? I'll get it. Okay. Something nasty is going around. It could be fatal. So apparently there's some virus going around, killing all the people or whatever. And uh, maybe these girls have to save them or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if anyone has seen this series, if you recommend it. Uh, maybe I'll uh, try to look for volume one so I can actually start watching the series, okay? Oh my gosh. You wouldn't believe how much I bought this for. Three bucks, Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Starring Bob Hoskins. I, I, I've seen this movie already, by the way. I've already seen it. Eye-popping special effects. Greatest movie of the year, uh, uh, um, Oscar contender, yeah. If you haven't seen this movie, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know how, how you'd feel about it, okay? All right, so I, I actually made a, a DVD collection video already. I've already recorded it. This is not included in it. Um, it's video game movies. So things like, um, you know, the Final Fantasy, Silent Hill, the Resident Evil movies. I also got like a, the Legend of Zelda cartoon show, the Mario cartoon show, uh, Final Fantasy Seven, the, the, the movie and stuff like that. Like uh, I have a, a complete collection of all my um, all my video game related movies. So things like uh, there was like a Hitman movie, there was like uh, those Halo straight to DVD movies and stuff like that, and the web web series and Mortal Kombat and all that stuff. I made a video about that. That's coming up this week. All right. So, uh, let your, tell your all friends, tell them to subscribe and all that stuff, and uh, I'll upload that soon, all right? So, this will not be included in that. I've already recorded, it's already uploaded to YouTube. It's scheduled to come out this week, all right? Um, and I got some more uh, DVDs here. WWE, and this is the final stuff I have right here. We got One Last Stand, one disc version, okay? So this is either a documentary or uh, like highlights or maybe a collection of matches with D-Generation X. I don't know. There it is. Shawn Michaels Triple H right there. Okay. And then we got Triple H, Thy Kingdom Come. Oh yeah. Triple H, man. Um, I think this is a documentary. Only the one disc version. I know there's like a like, like a three disc version also of this, which has like classic matches and stuff with Triple H, but uh, it wasn't a dollar. I saw these at one dollar for uh, at the pawn shop, and I was like, man, this, this is a great deal. All right, I actually bought a couple more DVDs that day uh, from the pawn shop. Uh, I bought like five that day, and um, they belong to other series, you know. So once I do like an updated series collection of this particular franchise then you'll you'll see it the, the new updated stuff all right uh a lot of people probably want to ask like a frequently asked question like what are you going to upload what are you going to up, up, uh um uh, live stream this upcoming week um <clears throat> i'm going to watch i try to catch up on my anime this upcoming week but if i do live stream this week it's going to be my friend ashley wants me to do this uh nightmare on elm street and they want me to uh watch all the movies and do a commentary over it and uh, live stream it. So you guys won't actually hear the audio, but you'll see the screen. I'll press play. You guys can press play too, 
and you, you, you just uh, watch me watch the movie uh, in very low volume, so you can't really hear the. You know, I, I don't want to get flagged or whatever uh, because of, you know, the entire movies on the uh, audios in the in the video. But uh, I, I'm I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to watch the entire Nightmare on Elm Street series and live stream for you guys with commentary. And that's going to be like our October thing. All right, that's 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 going to be our uh, our uh, like Halloween countdown event. It's me watching the entire Nightmare on Elm Street franchise on DVD with you guys live stream. All right, that's that's upcoming videos. I don't know. Just comment. What do you want me to do? I got some videos of me eating like pizza and tacos and stuff like that. You, if you want to see that, go ahead. Uh, I mean, if you want to see that? Comment. And let me know that you want to see that, and then we'll, uh, we'll just go from there. All right. So anyway, here, some uh, video for the, the, the thumbnail or whatever. There you go. That's a good looking thumbnail right there. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Talk guys later. Bye.